The thing is, on the plane, I try to be as comfortable as possible. And so I like wearing bras that don't have a wire. I know you ladies feel me. Our bags are packed. We are leaving today. I don't know if Judy's been talking about it, about where we're going or anything. I won't say anything because I want to make it a surprise for all of you. But uh, I'm starting the day off with my rice. And you already know, I know we it's kind of dirty. We need to clean before we leave. About to leave here in T minus 30 minutes. And wouldn't you know it, leave it to a woman, or Judy at least, to ask for a summer dress that's in her summer bin in the garage somewhere out of all the bins we have. The day we leave, like the morning, like 35, 40 minutes before we leave. It's like it was really hard for me not to like go ah, why did you do this yesterday why didn't you ask me yesterday the guy looked everywhere i don't know where it is of course i did find it in one of the boxes she looked at she's not capable of you know lifting everything out of the box and looking but you know what are you gonna do that's that's called husband duties you just do it my mom always said just say yes Yes, anything for you, dear. Is that what you husbands do? Or do you put down your foot sometimes, like me, once in a while? Today's makeup, I want to go, I wanted something light. So I, I use very little makeup, actually. I just use gold and brown from my Lorac palette. This is um, the candy set during the holidays. I just did black stiletto eyeliner. Um, I didn't contour or highlight at all. In fact, I kind of did a two-in-one. I used a Cheeky Bronze by MAC, a mineralized skin finish. This is discontinued, at least as far as I know, but they always come out with very similar looking um, mineralized skin finishes. It's pretty. And then for lips, I filled in my lips with Estee Lauder Red Lip Liner, and then I topped it off with Ravishing Red Infallible. The foundation, I use Dior's Air Flash because this stuff, I'm pretty sure this stuff will last all day. A little bit of rice left. So I'm eating this pickled plum from Japan called Umeboshi. And making Judy her daily breakfast of one pack of oatmeal with bananas and boiling the water. Good morning. Let's go downstairs. Papa's downstairs. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dad. Hi, Julia. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? You want to get her? <laughs> hey, hi. Give us the VIP. Where are you going? You're going well, I don't know what's going on over there. I gotta uh, change the thermostat here. Let me see. Last name is Kalma. Oh, okay. Kalma? Kalma, C A L M A. Kalma. I don't know. She, um, she, that was mentioned in the in the email. So oh, okay. Alma, well, uh, you know how we had our meet and greet over in Roseville. Aunt Vivian said uh, that you came to the meet and greet, so thanks for coming. Hopefully, I was able to meet you in person. I don't know because there's a lot of people I wasn't able to meet. I just wanted to give a quick shout out. Hi, thanks for coming. Oh, and guess what? Today is Baby Bear's birthday. No, not this Baby Bear. That's sleeping. But that's baby bear. <laughs> Happy birthday! The big bear. I went running, so my nose is running like crazy. Yeah. yeah I think it's because he, I don't have a oh, call. I think it's it's the uh, the 
cherry blossoms are falling. Yeah, like they that. got in my nose, I think. Oh, let me see. Cause so you have an allergy. Yeah. I just got done uh, with a cold. I was like two weeks, went all natural. I got rid of it yesterday. I didn't have anything. So this is not a cold. Mm -hmm. He's always in denial whenever he's sick. Yeah. Why he's doing this outside, I'm not very sure. Honey. It's so cold. You do it inside. Like behind me, the cutest kid has the most adorable outfit. I don't want to be like a total creepers and just like do a close up on the kid. Well, maybe I will because it's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at his outfit. <laughs> A little piece from Benji's watch fell when he was trying to put his watch on, so uh, he trying to scope the floors. <laughs> I hope he finds it's like the tiniest piece and it's totally camouflaged here. I don't know how he's gonna find it. Okay, Benji is crazy. It's literally like a one in a million chance he'll even find that pin, and I'm like, you're wasting your time. Said to just go ahead, and I don't know. I don't. He's not gonna find it. And Juliana's like, Daddy's cray cray. I seriously think he has OCD or something. Oh, hello there. Did we have a poop explosion in little one? I didn't end up finding that. Whatever it was, I don't even know what it was. Like. I didn't find it. Please hold on to the handrail. I know Judy is like insisting I come with her because it's not worth my time. And she says it's my compulsive, obsessive compulsive disorder. But you are. No, when you can find something, you go crazy. I don't know if you can call it that. It's more of a. Uh, actually, as a child, I kind of was scarred by my parents because I lost something. And because I lost it, it was a gift from my. A botch on my grandma. I literally lost it the day I got it from her. They made me do show and tell about how I lost it to my class. So instead of me doing show and tell about the toy I got from her, I had to do uh, a speech about why I lost it and how I should make sure not to lose it. So ever since then, if I lose something, and it was just a pin, my watch broke off. So I'm sure I can find a jeweler or something. Sorry, honey, that I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, well, listen I'm to sorry you. That you, yeah, I'm sorry that you don't, because I, I knew if I were looking for something like that, you'd be like, are you effing kidding me? No, I didn't, because this morning, you insist on wearing a dress. Okay. She has a million, a million dresses in that closet, but she insisted on wearing the one that was in her storage. So I think it's the same thing, honey. Totally not. Yes. No. At least you had options. I didn't. I don't have a watch right now because that thing is broken. How's your coffee? You know, honey, this morning I was talking about moderation, but look what I found. Those Biscoff cookies I love so much. Yeah, you can. They have. That's what Delta's known for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, hey, honey, they have. You can go grab your own. And they had Nutella, too. I don't know what happened. I. I want to say it's a cold. Yes, Judy is right. I am in denial, but I went on a run this morning. Oh, he's specifically running underneath the cherry blossoms, honey, to enjoy it. But I don't know if it's allergies. I never had allergies, so I don't think that's what it is. But uh, my nose has been running like crazy, honey, like crazy. This is what an airborne does. Oh, dang it. You guys missed the main event. But just dropped an airborne into some of that steaming hot water. Oh my gosh, I love these restrooms. This is a sink area with a nice bamboo. We're about to depart. You guys can do uh, counters to two light pumps. So we're here and there. Here in Seattle. Check the weather for Tokyo. It says it's 
it's gonna be half a Watch our uh, progress in your in video. Yeah, yeah Juliana yeah. Bear just fell asleep. Watch you sleep and watch your movies. We'll talk to you again. Oh, uh, her poor skin has been acting up the past two days. Guess what, guys? We get to watch a wreck it Ralph. Oh, yeah. And we're watching it together. We timed it through cross play together. Yeah. Our first meal of the flight. We got beef stroganoff with veggies. I don't know. Doesn't look too appealing. <laughs> and we got chicken teriyaki. Here's a better view of my feet. Yes, okay. Chicken. Man, I remember Korean Airlines last year was a bibimbap. Oh, so good. Kind of jelly of Korean Airlines. About nine hours into the flight, Juliana is doing okay. She has had her fit. She's good? I think for the most part she's okay. I thought she was great. Yeah. Great, considering it was a long ass flight for a little baby. She's like... <laughs> she didn't scream at all. She screeched once. <laughs> when? Here, like put her on the boob. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, she's tired. She's so ready to go out. <laughs> we have just about one hour left. Sticking out your tongue a lot lately. We did it! You were so you good. You did it. T ten. Oh, actually, let's say nine hours and forty-five minutes of peace and fifteen minutes of DQN. Yeah, not record. bad. When yeah. I say fifteen minutes, it wasn't even bad. Not even. I would say less than fifteen minutes, maybe. Can people Five guess to where ten we're, minutes. we are? We're not going to announce it till tomorrow. Oh, no, they already know. Well, how do they know that? I Instagrammed it. Oh, oh man, I feel like we're the ones. Well, there you go, everybody. So, look, even the elevators are so tiny. Everything here in Japan is so tiny. It's so cute. Uh, we're officially in. We passed customs. Those things always make me nervous. I feel like... If I laugh or if I smile too much, they might think something. I bet that means elevator. Oh. Oh, you're just as cute in real life. Yeah, oh. good job. We came in and Liz spotted us <laughs> right when we walked oh, out. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She's like, Canada. I'm from Vancouver. Vancouver. Oh my God, yeah, we are, we're always in Vancouver. Oh, really? Yeah, we're the small world. Oh. Well, thanks for watching our vlogs. Oh, and uh, Liz mentioned that our, our vlogs helped her when she first got here. So oh, nice that's yeah, great to hear. Now. Yeah, thank you. Thank you your makeup for here. I have no idea. The driver, white glove service. Great, just got our stuff. Uh, they 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 uh, had to yell at me twice for not video. Huh? What? Not what? Oh, that's a that's a hey smokers there. How you guys doing in that room? It's kind of kind of funny actually. It's like going to a zoo and seeing animals in a little cage. But they they had to yell at me twice. Literally, the guy came running over and tell me I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't be taping in the airport. Last time I was here, my uncle picked us up, but we have so much luggage, which is funny because this is supposedly packing light. That That's packing light for Judy. But don't worry, most of that is gifts for, for uh, my family. One of the cool things about all these cars, it's very, very clean here in Japan and they like to keep their cars clean. All kinds of cool cars. I'm gonna show you so many cars. There's some more over there. Their vans are pretty cool. This is our vehicle, and look, it has a little ramp with lights on it. Looks like aftermarket lights. I think this is gonna fit all your luggage, honey. Just barely, but yeah. Japan is known for their beautiful cherry blossoms, and these are everywhere right now. And luckily, we're here right as it's ending its full bloom. Judy had this issue with Dump in too many spices into curry specifically. Once oh, yeah, that happened before. She dumps so many red, uh, crushed red peppers into the curry that 